One type of therapy known to heal diabetic wounds and treat people with carbon monoxide poisoning could now be used to treat stroke patients. Doctors at Erlanger Medical Center recently used the hyperbaric chamber therapy to help a 23-year-old stroke patient who made some big strides in her recovery. WDEF News 12's Kristen Johnson joins us now with more on that. Bill, when Megan Hampton would get bad headaches and her right side would go numb, she never thought much of it until one day last year when just at the age of 23, she suffered a stroke. I was fixing to get up and actually start getting ready for go to work. And I felt like somebody stabbed me in my neck. Married with three children, Megan Hampton thought she was invincible. But after a blood clot caused a stroke, she was left partially paralyzed on one side. My arm, I just stayed just limp. I couldn't do anything with it. I couldn't lift it up. Because of a trach to help her breathe, Megan says she couldn't undergo the normal physical rehabilitation for stroke patients. That's when she went online to look for alternatives and came across hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Initially, doctors at Erlinger Medical Center used the chamber to heal Megan's head wound, the result of surgery to relieve swelling to her brain after the stroke. Oxygen's a drug and it goes to sites of injury and it really improves the oxygenation does a lot of good things for the cells. Megan soon regained movement in her arm. When you get out, you just feel like you have like a million times more energy. Altogether, Megan underwent 30 hyperbaric treatments, but doctors are quick to say this type of therapy is not for everyone. There's an awful lot of research that needs to be carried on uh, with this therapy. There's, as we call, off-label programs around the country that have done a lot of this, but uh, for HBO to be accepted and to really understand it, this has to be undergo scientific scrutiny in a research institution. As one of the most active research stroke centers in the southeast, Dr. Krill says he hopes Erlinger can be part of developing the hyperbaric therapy for stroke patients further. As for Megan, I want to be able to do my little girl's hair, play video games with my little boy. And Megan says she would also like to become an advocate for stroke patients because she says it's not an easy thing to go through unless you know someone who has went through the same right, thing. Kristen, thanks very much for joining us.